Hello, welcome to my analytics school. Uh, today we have Anshika Jain with ourselves, uh, who is placed in Deloitte as a data analyst, and she is an alum of NIT Allahabad. Uh, she was in the mass batch. So Anshika, can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, yes, sir. my name is Anshika Jain, and I have completed my B.Tech in Production and Industrial Engineering from MNIT Allahabad in 2023. And I have took uh, took a course from MAS, uh, the whole course for uh, analyst preparation. And I got placed in Deloitte uh, last September. And now currently I'm waiting for my joining. Okay. So Anshika, I'll be asking a couple of uh, preparation related questions. I really hope that this will add some kind of value to the preparation level of students. So here comes the first one. What is the recruitment process like all the tests and interviews was uh, for the Deloitte and what advice would you like to give it you to the candidates who are preparing for Deloitte? So let's start with the first part. like. Kitne rounds the uh, paper exam mein, like kitne sections the quality of questions kaise the. Then let's move on to interviews. Ki kitne rounds baapte the tech non tech ka pe jaa kuch Yes, sir. So uh, there was only one test uh, which consists of uh, four sections: quant, LRDI, mm -hmm. English, and some basic uh, programming MCQs. So the level for the quant, LRDI and uh, verbal questions was pretty easy for me. And programming MCQs, uh, they, were, uh, they were not dedicated to one language only. They consisted of uh, some languages, like uh, many languages, like C, C++. And there were some uh, MCQ questions of Java as well. But they were very basic. So uh, I have studied Python. So I was able to... Uh, I, I was able to do them correctly and the level of test overall was easy but uh, there was a time limit as well for every sections and the time limit uh, and the time which uh, we have given for every section was pretty less and we were not able to switch between the sections and uh, we were not able to switch between the uh, even questions if we have done one question we can't come back to it or uh, rectify our mistake or anything else so if we have done one question mm -hmm. then we have to pass it by so it was like that and uh, the main focus uh, for the test should be you should complete it uh, very accurately and in as much as less time as possible because uh, they also know uh, they also note and give out the results on the basis of uh, how much less time we have taken to took the test uh, now coming okay. to the uh, interview part yes sir yeah yeah please continue okay Okay, sir. So now coming to interview part, uh, the uh, our shortlist was released after one or two day after the test, and about seventy students were shortlisted. Uh, seven zero seventy students were shortlisted. So the interview was of uh, thirty minutes to forty five minutes, and they were uh, they were uh, focusing more on uh, from my from my perspective, they were focusing more on the communication part and whatever you have written in the resume so uh, they they will obviously test your skills uh, like i have written sql and uh, python and excel on my uh, on my uh, like on my technologies area in my resume so they ask questions from uh, each of them uh, they asked two questions from SQL, one, one of them which was uh, easy and one of them which was pretty standard. And from Python also, they asked uh, very simple questions, uh, a loop question and checking the, uh, checking the vowels in my name, these type of questions. And from Excel, they just uh, asked what, what you have, what functions you have used in Excel, one or two. That's it. And then they moved to the project section of my resume. They asked to uh, explain my project and, uh, and 
they asked to explain my project and also use uh, and also asked about the practical application of my project and what uh, whatever the tools i have used like uh, python pandas etc so the the interview was uh, very specifically based on the uh, resume part and also they have asked me one general questions like uh, give us your introduction uh, which was uh, which was a uh, for the first question but uh, i was i was i was very much prepared from the ms sessions about this this question and i have stated it pretty well a uh, long form of it and they seem very much impressed through it uh, i think uh, because they also gave me the feedback like very nice introduction uh, nicely kept uh, nicely kept Ni nicely capped to us so it was like that and in the end they also asked uh, two or three hr questions uh, which i think uh, 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 which i think could be a deal breaker because some of my friends uh, who have been asked these questions and couldn't uh, answer them properly were not uh, able to clear the interview so yes this was the interview and uh, the interview uh, the interviewers were uh, having different panels so this was one side of my interview and Uh, some of my friends were also asked some puzzle from gfgs and they were also asked some of their uh, uh, questions around their hobbies and interest in diving deeper into them so yes great uh, thanks sanshika thanks like you have uh, explained it in a very detailed manner i really hope that this will be very much beneficial so all those who will be watching this video okay here comes the next question what areas of focus should candidates prioritize when preparing for the interview and how can they stand out from other applications so like if you look uh, whenever uh, students go for an interview they have their resume prepared so they have their internship prepared they have their projects prepared but most of the candidates don't know that there's a certain way to deliver uh, the whole write up to the interviewers so that it looks more crisp and fine so can you add a couple of points like what are the four areas where you need to focus like uh, you need to be more crisp you need to talk in data points such kind of things so uh, i think it all depends upon the communication how well you can communicate uh, our thoughts to the interviewer so starting with some mm -hmm. basic questions like introduce yourself and uh, what are your hobbies and uh, some basic hr questions these can be prepared uh, beforehand and uh, we can uh, prepare a write up for it uh, like and revise it throughout and throughout so that uh, so that uh, if we delivered uh, if we delivered our first answer to the interviewer like uh, of the uh, the first answer uh, for the question like uh, give give us your introductions so it it will be very crisp and he or she will be a little bit impressed to us and then uh, interview will flow in uh, the way which we want uh, same goes for different yeah. hr questions so uh, yes sir so and coming to the project sections question uh, the write up for the projects and internships could also be prepared beforehand and you and you can revise throughout the facts or the what you have done in your project and deliver it to the interviewer in some part of another if he or she is asking about the project so the the purpose of your project and the work which you have done in your project or internships could be clearly more uh, dis uh, displayed to the interviewer and uh, he or she might uh, and you could be like stand out from other applicants who are not communicating it well so i think communication uh, communication uh, makes us stand apart got it uh thanks anshika let's move forward what tips or strategies can candidates use to answer the technical questions effectively so in general you would have yeah. given a couple of mock interviews and मेन इंटरव्यू सो व्हाट डू यू फील कि किस ढंग से हमें टेक्निकल क्वेश्चंस को आंसर करना चाहिए सच दैट इट लुक्स मोर एफिशिएंट एंड अफेक्टिव इस सर सो टेक्निकल क्वेश्चंस कैन बी ऑफ आई थिंक टू टाइप्स लाइक थ्योरी क्वेश्चंस एंड इन द क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी हैव टू राइट एग्जैक्ट कोड और समथिंग सो फॉर थ्योरी क्वेश्चंस वी शुड बी वेरी क्लियर बिफोर हैंड इन आवर माइंड व्हाट टू स्पीक फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड द आंसर शुड बी पुट वेरी क्लियरली इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यूअर एंड 
uh, also it should be followed by, by one or two uh, real life examples so that uh, mm -hmm. so that he he or she can understand that uh, we know the concept better and you and know how to use it in a real world uh, coming for the uh, code writing questions uh, so uh, we uh, we should be able to write the correct code or at least uh, the correct syntax for it and if we have if we know uh, one or more ways to do it so we should also express to it, it to the interview that we can do in two ways or three ways uh, so that uh, so that it creates a good impact okay yes uh, here comes like couple of uh, mass specific questions like how did you come to know about mass and why did you choose it so overall how was your experience like if you want to brief me about like the whole question in one or one and a half minute okay so so i came to know it through the linkedin and i contacted shubham sir the when the batches are starting and all so uh, he contacted me back and i got enrolled with a little screening test and then our mm -hmm. preparation was started uh, for uh, three four months before our placement uh, in in the in the month of march only so we went through uh, we went through a self evaluation program in which uh, we were able to uh, see what is uh, in see in what areas we uh, we are good and in what areas we need to improve for our placements so for me particularly it was about programming and i am very thankful as i have started early because i won't be able to cover it in the last uh, in the last times as i was not really good at it so uh, th that self evaluation program really helps us to uh, see all the weak, weak weak areas in our preparation and then uh, there were uh, there were dedicated courses for each uh, for each part uh, which is required for an analyst profile uh, there was machine learning a very good sql course and then uh, all the test preparation uh, which includes uh, quant verbal and lrdi sections was also given very uh, very briefly and all the chapters were covered and if uh, he or she has done that part of the mas course then uh, one can be pretty confident about that he or she won't miss a question in the uh, placement test so uh, in addition to that we will uh, we were having uh, support from our mentors and super mentors uh, which was uh, always there to uh, give the moral support uh, which we need most during our placements and there were many tests uh, many tests like you uh, during the end times and during the peak placement session there was a test every day so it keeps you in the loop and uh, you can analyze them and rectify your mistakes so that uh, you don't perform you, you don't perform bad or even average in the placement test got it uh, thanks and shiga as i even remember one incident where on one call you were telling ki bhaiya machine learning skip kar do kya so right before yeah. like one or two months before uh, to your placements and you were like ki bhai kya machine learning padhenge bhai ya data science mein bhi jana hai but eventually that's what gives us confidence plus we have certain amount of technical skills on our resume pata hai ki systematic case studies ho hi jane hai sql python mein jo sawal aane hai but like if even if you don't use machine learning in deloitte but obviously deloitte the interviewer which would uh, who has taken your interview would have seen machine learning in your profile and would got a certain amount of confidence ki ha she is technically competent and even though if we bring on new type of tools or new type of project she will be handy and will be okay. here comes the last question from my side what advice would you uh, give to someone who is considering joining mass for a career in analytics or data science Uh, so i would advise surely to join ms if someone is looking for a career in analytics or data science uh, as they provide very uh, good and understandable courses there are lot of courses available in udemy coursera etc but uh, the uh, but the constant support of the mentor and the peer group support helps us to complete the course and complete the project as well so uh, i would uh, really Uh, suggest everyone uh, everyone who is looking for this domain to join ms and you won't be regretted for a, a while in any day and uh, yes that's it uh, 
uh, thanks anshika well said uh, i really feel that this is one of the most detailed interview which has happened agar koi sunega isko like they'll be getting a brief idea ki kis type ka process hua tha kis type ke interview mein sawal aaye the and thank thanks you thank you very much and all the best for your profile